Georgia Republicans are calling Stacey Abrams a hypocrite for being unmasked in a photo with school kids during a visit for Black History Month. She's calling them shameful for using a Black History Month event to stage a false political attack and is just a distraction from their failures to protect people during the pandemic. I think it was really hypocritical, actually. First, her statement, first of all, this has nothing to do with Black History Month. It, it's the, the point is that she was not wearing a mask when she is one of those proponents of mask mandates. She wore a mask to the school, but later removed it so she could be heard by students watching remotely and for the photos on the condition that everyone around her was wearing masks. Yeah. She should have worn a mask. You know, Eric Garcetti got caught taking pictures without a mask at SoFi Stadium in L.A. He was posing with Magic Johnson and other celebrities. Right. He claims that he holds his breath That's when so he ridiculous. takes... That's so stupid. It's so stupid. It's a <laughs> of excuse. Yeah. I think people really resent this idea of rules for thee, but not for... for rules, yeah. you know, for me, but yeah, not but for Yeah, but isn't it as egregious yeah. as somebody like Abbott and DeSantis really saying, don't wear the mask. Change, don't, no mandates, no masks. That's much more destructive than one person well, I think slipping up. But if someone says, I, I don't think we need them, and they believe that, I almost think that's more consistent, mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. she says we need yep. them and to come into a school where by the way if I went into a school and that was the the going norm I would go ahead and just put my mask on even right. if I wasn't planning of on course. it because you're around all these children and teachers and there are rules for that yeah. so <laughs> apparently Joe Rogan has the most popular podcast on Spotify and he's repeatedly spread COVID misinformation and invited guests on to do the same the platform has pulled Neil Young's music after he demanded that Spotify choose between him and podcast host Joe Rogan Young accuses Rogan of spreading misinformation about COVID and vaccines. We have a First Amendment in this country. We have to stick with it. You can't just pick and choose when you want to use the First oh, Amendment. Okay. I mean, I agree that Joe Rogan is a horror. A horror. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not saying that Joe Rogan <coughs> should be removed from Spotify. He's got 11 million listeners. Oh, well then, He's what, got a $100 million dollar, you know, contract as of 2020. But I do think as, as the, the podcast um, platform, you have to have some sort of guidelines. How about a disclaimer on, on, on his okay. podcast that says, That's you fine. know, this is misinformation. So a lot of people, they would remove Fox TV also. You can try to get Fox off your cable vision if you want. Well, but, there should be disclaimers. You know, yeah. or disclaimers. Disclaimers, but you can't just cancel the show right. because we have the first no, I agree with that. All right. I think people are hungry to have open conversations, disagreements, debates, and they don't want to be told how to feel about it. They want those people to have their conversation and they want it to be up to them, just like when they watch TV and media and news. They want to make their own decision. Well, that's what we do on this show, right? Yeah. I mean, we, we talk about what we think, we, we talk about how we feel about certain issues.